All right, so in this video, I'm gonna solve the problem nine to the power of 10 plus nine to the power of 10 plus nine to the power of 10. And instead of finding the exact value, I'm actually given four choices. So option A is 27 to the power of 30. Option B is nine to the power of 30. Option C, is 27 to the power of 10 and finally option D is 3 to the power of 21 so if you guys want to pause the video and try to solve this you can so now I'm going to start explaining which one the right answer is so let's first start with option a 27 to the power of 30 the way someone likely got this is by adding all of the bases and then adding all of the exponents. However, this is not the right way to actually solve this. So this answer choice is not right. You can't add exponents by simply just adding the bases and adding the exponents. Now, nine to the power of 30, the way someone probably got this was keeping the base the same and then adding the exponents together. And again, this is not right as well. You can't add exponents like this. This is not the proper way. Now 27 to the power of 10, how someone got this was likely by adding all the bases and keeping the exponent the same. And this is again wrong. This is not how you're supposed to properly add exponents. Now finally, three to the power of 21, which by the process of elimination is the right answer. However, I'm gonna actually show you how you got three to the power of 21. So we have nine to the power of 10 plus nine to the power of 10 plus nine to the power of 10. And I can factor out nine to the power of 10. So I get nine to the power of 10 times one plus one plus one, which is equal to three times nine to the power of 10. Now from here, this is equal to three times 3 squared to the power of 10. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 3 to the power of 2 to the power of 10 is going to equal 3 to the power of 20. And now 3 to the power of 1 times 3 to the power of 20 is equal to 3 to the power of 20 plus 1, which is equal to 3 to the power of 21. So this is the right, right answer, meaning d is the correct answer. 